In this episode, we will show you how to change a CVT drive belt. We will need these tools to change the belt. An impact wrench, a 36mm impact hex socket, 30, 18, 10, and 8mm hex sockets, an M6 bolt, and a new belt. First, loosen all the bolts around the CVT cover. Loosen the nut on the secondary drive. Use the M6 bolt to loosen the belt. Now loosen the primary drive bolt. Notice that the bolt and nut has left-handed threads. Do not forget the washer for adjusting the gap. Always check one-way bearing. It has to spin freely, change if needed. Carefully disassemble the CVT clutches and clean them with compressed air. So you might be wondering, how do you check your old belt to see if it's still suitable for use? Check the sides if they are even and there's no visible damage or cracks. This belt has some wear, but it's still good to use. Let's see how the belt looks when it needs to be changed. You can see it's starting to tear and there's visible damage on the sides. Now this is what a new belt looks like. So we have three different belts, new, used but in good condition, and the one that is not suited to be used anymore. All CVT drive belts have rotation markings. Shift the lever into gear so it will be easier to assemble the CVT. Now let's put back together primary and secondary sheaves with the new belt. Do not forget that primary sheave bolts and nuts are left-handed threads. Use thread lock glue on the secondary fixing nut and tighten it. Spin the CVT by hand and check if everything is assembled correctly. Also, check if the new belt does not touch the primary sheave. Adjust with special washers if needed. Put the CVT drive cover back on, tighten the bolts, and you're done. Have a nice drive.